This is a quick video to show you all the hidden features of Frankly MLS that you might not know about. First of all, it's keyword based, so that means you can use, here's some examples of what you can search for, but the neatest thing is that you can search the remarks section, so for words like bring all offers, property type, townhouse, or you can use something like uh, detached or condo, house number. So let's just type in uh, Arlington 2220, actually, you'll need to type in Arlington and 222. Let's we'll just do 22201, a zip code, and then condo, and then uh, let's do bank. So it'll show us in spreadsheet mode all the results. There's four properties in the spreadsheet mode. So let's go over these here. If they are crossed out, that means that they are under contract. Frankly, MLS shows two out of the three stages of under contract. We're not allowed to show the last stage. The first two stages mean that there's still something pending, like a home sale contingency or uh, something that's under contract. If it's a short sale, for example, you still might consider putting in an offer because the bank might not have approved it, but it's still technically uh, under contract. So here, if, if they are purple, that means it's been wikied. It's been reviewed by an agent. Agents added other photos by a buyer agent, not by the listing agent. Um, furthermore, if your mouse goes over the the MLS number, the remarks will come up. Um, you can also export the data by hitting the export button to an Excel spreadsheet. Um, let's also do a s show you the photos in detail mode. So here it shows you much, much more information, um, and but you can't see as many per page. And then you have the the gallery mode. Let's just put change that also to condos and 22201. The gallery mode just shows you just a ton of medium-sized images all the way down the page with the price. Uh, and you can also, by hitting this heart button, what that does is it saves it to your favorites. I've had my favorites hidden, so up here you click on, uh, after you've saved it, it just show up up here. These are your saved homes. And with your saved homes, you can add your email address and sign up to uh, to receive email alerts for any changes whatsoever to that listing. For example, here's an alert that I got, one saying, hey, this listing is no longer active, it's off the market. Uh, here's another one that I got saying that there's been a price drop. Um, so you get those automatically without having to enter in your password. If you ever need to retrieve your, your, uh, your account, let's say you hop on another computer, you just you save any one random property and then you try to type in your email address and it will say, hey, you already have saved properties. Do you want to uh, import those? And then you'll get all of your, you'll get them all back. I absolutely hate um, passwords, so that's why I did it that way. So other things you can search for, like bank owned, uh, Alexandria bank owned. And I only have the maximum price, so minimum price, you just stop looking when you're done. I'm going to put spreadsheet mode again. And here are all the bank owned properties that have bank owned. Very few, if any other MLS search engines, allow you to actually search the remarks. So you can't actually search for bank owned that are on the MLS, except for on this site. Um, again, under crossed outs or under contracts. Um, and also, if it's a short sale, it puts a, if it's a possible short sale, it has a little star next to it. If I put my mouse over here, it says, uh, why bother with bank owned or short sales? So this is an example where it did not work, um, but it has the word short sales in the, in the remark. But if we go to um, short, Arlington short sale, you'll obviously see many more stars. Um, and here it just says flat out short sale. This one says um, short sale now approved. Uh, some of them say not a short sale, so it does not have a star. It actually goes in and if it has the word not, it's smart enough to make it not put the star next to it. Also for open houses, this site has 100% more open houses, double the number of open houses as any other open house site. Um, and the way it does that is it gives you a carrot, an upper, uh, a carrot that's pointing upwards if it is a, an official open house in the future. But if it's an unofficial open house, it'll have a squiggly line. And what that means is somewhere in the remarks they put uh, open Sunday or open house or something like that. Because many realtors do not put uh, officially 
did not put in the remarks correctly. They just put open Sunday. They put in the remarks only. They don't put it in the actual official open house. Uh, the, there's a section in the MLS where you actually enter in an open house properly, and 50% of the agents don't do that. So here you'll be able to see both of those types of listings. Now let's go to a, a full view to see some features here. Here, first of all, the, the, the photos on this site are four times larger than any other site. Uh, also, the URL for each property is super small, so you can just go in, copy and paste it into an email. I've also made it up here so you can copy it and send it off uh, very easily. You can also add this listing to your favorites from the full view page, or you can use this more fancy uh, bookmark sharing system where you can share it to Facebook so your friends on Facebook can see what properties you're, you're looking at and they can comment on it on Facebook or on your Google Reader. Um, so here I'll tell you active or under contract. Uh, I will tell you the original price. This is actually something that's very unique that no other site that I know of has. It has a D-O-M-P and click the little question mark next to it to give you more details on what that means. But basically it's, uh, it shows you if the property has been relisted. Now normally there would be multiple photos here and let's see if I can find an example of one with multiple photos. Um, let's get one. Over here it says that there's 30 photos, so I'm just going to open that, right click, and go to New Tab. So here are the 30 photos, and you just mouse over the images, and you can see the, the large photos up there. So back to some of the other examples. Oops, sorry about that. Um, here you've got the, the previous listing price history. No other site has that. It shows you that this property was, was relisted on the market for 128 days, but now it's you know restarted zero days with a new agent. But previously, it has dropped, and it shows you each one of the price drops. No other site has that. Furthermore, the, our site also shows you the listing agent's name and their phone number. Uh, no other site has that. There was one other site that had it, but they removed it. But make sure you read this disclaimer here that says, if you have a buyer's agent, don't call the listing agent. I know it's very counterintuitive, but click on this Y button and you'll see why. But I give you that information because you know some of you want it anyhow. Um, and then also, what we've added is uh, Google Street View. So this property only had one photo, it's bank owned. So I added the Google Street View so you can actually now check out the entire neighborhood. Not only that, you can get an aerial shot. Here's the property right here. And by default, this is using the Microsoft Virtual Earth. Uh, it will show you the neighborhood from this perspective. No other site that I know of has that. Um, and then also, the homes that are reviewed, let's look at one of those. If you do a search for Arlington, you look for the ones that are purple. You click on that. This one has no photo on it. Scroll down, it's got some aerial shots. It's also got, look at this guy, um, gives you an idea for the neighborhood. This is an example of a no photo property, which we have the street view, the aerial view, and then a comment by an agent who actually went to the property and took some photos of the property. Oftentimes, there's actually interior photos as well. Um, you can see even more reviewed properties by going to the front page. Um, and here are the agents that reviewed properties. They are also available to be your buyer agent. They work in different areas. You can click on them and see what they're all about. You can also see the properties that they've linked to, I mean, the properties that they re reviewed. If you click on that, you'll see that they're all purple. Uh, and let's click on one of them to see. This already has some photos. Actually, let's click on one that has, uh, here's one that has only one photo up front, yet this agent added This agent added like 50 photos, so nowhere else can you get get that. So that's a. Uh, oh, also make sure you go to the cell phone mode. If you log on, you'll be able to, to uh, on your cell phone, you'll go right to the cell phone mode. Type in just the street address, 1021 uh, Garfield, and you'll have immediate access to all the actives and under contracts. So if you're right in front of a house, just type in that house number. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it.